Hi, I'm Ephraim Viva Ibarra Jr., 37, from Milligan City. I'm a licensed aeronautical engineer and a business owner. I'm the eldest of four siblings and I like farming. My hobbies are into cars and other stuff. Becoming an aeronautical engineer involves earning a bachelor's degree in aeronautical engineering. It typically includes courses in aerodynamics, propulsion, material science, and other relevant subjects. To obtain a license, you need to pass the aeronautical board exam. Aeronautical engineers design, develop, test, and maintain aircrafts, spacecraft, and other components. We work on various aspects, which is aerodynamic, propulsion, systems, flight, mechanics, materials, and structural design to ensure aircraft safety, performance, and efficiency. I also work in the academe, so we do research, manufacturing, maintenance roles within the aerospace industry. I work in the academe for almost six years. So I teach students on, on how to become a successful aeronautical engineer and to get their dream job. So I teach us uh, aircraft construction repair and modification, mathematics, aircraft power plant, engineering economics, and management, law, and ethics. One of the most difficult subjects in aeronautical engineering is aircraft structure design because it involves complex calculations. After I graduated and got my license, my first job was in the academy, teaching aeronautical engineering courses and supervising students' projects focusing on like aerodynamics, propulsion, and material science. After I got my license, one of my college instructors told me that they need another instructor. So I got the job, they hired me without an interview, and I got a text message that I need to attend the faculty meeting. Challenges in my job. Number one is complexity of subject matter. Is how effective you communicate to convey complete ideas to the students. Then another one is balancing theory and practicality. Ensuring students are well equipped for real world scenario. Number three is keeping pace with the advancement. Number four, engaging students. And five, resource constraints. And the last is teaching students with different personalities and backgrounds. I saw an article on Facebook titled Top 10 Highest Paying Jobs in the Philippines. The top one in the list is in aviation field like pilots, type engineers, and other related fields. On a post, they, it's about 100,000 pesos. But actually, it's less in the Philippines. If you're on abroad or your top management, you earn that much. Why I took aeronautical engineering? Because in my elementary years, my dream is to be an astronaut or a scientist. So the closest thing to be an astronaut is to take aeronautical or aerospace engineering. Was this something you chose when you were young? Yeah, I chose to because I am curious how birds fly, how airplanes fly. So this is one of my inspiration. We need to study those things. Why those, they don't fall on the ground. This was not because of your parents? No, it's not influenced by my parents. I took it as my dream job or dream career. The worst experience I encountered not only for me, but to the whole aviation community. When the COVID-19 struck, almost in the aviation field, lost their jobs, aircraft are grounded, limited access to transportation. And as a teacher in the academy, we need to adjust everything on how to deliver the lessons because most of the students have no access to technology like computers, and internet. So my business is about chickens or ready to lay eggs. So when pandemic struck, so we need another source of income. I got into business, earned 
another source of income. My passion, aside from aviation, is I like cars and motorcycles. So before, we engage in a drag race, autocross, circuits. So it's one way to loosen up. Do you have any favorite car or dream car? I don't have any particular favorite car or, or dream car. For me, I like slow cars and make it more go faster and better. Earning a degree in aeronautical engineering and to have a license is challenging. You need to burn your candles at both ends and pray more. You need to work gracefully under pressure. We can't afford to make mistakes. 99% is better but not enough. My message, whatever circumstances you face or trials come your way, don't give up. You need to innovate and trust God. Even if you don't understand what's going on, God said, I have a plan for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So trust God in everything you do. If you find this video helpful and interesting, consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.